Good morning world. It is the 5th of June 2022 and it's just hit 10am in the morning. Um, so yesterday I only did a very short video um, because I had one of those strange days yesterday truthfully. Though I've just checked and I've seen that the video I made that literally goes for like two minutes is now at 611 views. Um, so very cool. Probably because I put that overthinking made me ill, which I'm fairly certain is what happened. So yesterday I um, woke up at 7.45 and was like, cool, no alarms. That's a good time to get up. Got up. Um, I, what did I do? I, got, I, I remember getting up, I watched my therapy session back, that's right. Um, I smoked, I've started vaping weed in the morning, so that's probably where I went wrong, I think. I think I realised that last night. Um, so, for those of you who may not know me or haven't seen all my videos, I am Liv, I'm 36, I live in Melbourne, Australia, and I'm on day seven of not smoking cigarettes or e-vapes, um, which is, I don't even know how many times I've quit smoking now, um, but this is the latest one, hopefully this one works, um, I say that and then I talk to people like Grant, my friend, and I'm like, please, whatever you do when I start asking for cigarettes, which always happens when we have a drink together, I'm like, you need to say no, and he just laughs. Um, I can be pretty persuasive when I want to, so he usually gives in, but I am um, I really, I can still hear the wheezing in my lungs, and I, I vape weed, so I think I'm definitely doing the right thing for myself by not smoking. Um, but I'm also, like, very aware of how much I used the vape, I guess, like, I mean, it was, like, attached to my hand when, you, when I think about it. Um, it's also becoming very aware how much I use it now that I'm rationing food. Now, I'm not rationing food because I can't eat or I don't have the money to eat and things like that. So I'm going to clarify this, guys. I um, am working my way through the food of my house just because I've always thought it would be interesting to see what I could come up with. Um, so far I think I'm doing alright. I have got just over half a loaf of bread in my freezer. That's like legitimately the only thing in there now. Yesterday I attempted trying to make like a, a pizza dough that had been frozen that I like let out and I followed all the instructions to the best of my ability. Um, it tasted weird though. Thankfully boss liked it, so he ate it, so that was cool. Um, but yeah, so watched my therapy session back. I remember Grant was like, let me know when you're free so we can have a call. And I was like, yeah, cool. Let me finish watching this because I just wanted to watch it in one go. And I'd written a post saying after therapy last week, something had caused me to go back into anxiousness after the therapy session, which was really weird and I thought it was something to do with the whole talking with her about these videos and um, registered and, and the board and things like that and um, yesterday when I started watching it that thought came back to me combined with the oh, I really want a cigarette which ended up in me vaping weed so I, I watched the end of the therapy session there was nothing wrong with it and in fact even though it totally registered at the time, I think I'd forgotten what she'd said. So I needed to see it back because she was right. If I look back on my past couple of weeks, I spend a lot of my time focusing on the things I haven't done right and the things I haven't done or things I haven't gotten to. And yesterday was one of those days instead of focusing on what I have done. So Yesterday, I had decided that I'd watch my therapy session back. I talked to Grant. He was doing stuff, and like I've got my phone stand, and we video call. And because we both live alone, it's like we take our phone stand sort of with us, and we do what we're doing while we're talking. So I was sitting in my bed, I think, to begin with, 
And then I was like, you know what, you're fl- you're flopping around doing whatever you're doing. So I'm going to get up and make my bed and start cleaning my house and doing all of that. So by the time we'd finished talking, um, I was ready to vacuum. So I did that and I got my main part of my house is it's nice. Lounge is done, kitchen's done, laundry, toilet, hallway. It's all clean and tidy and vacuumed. I remember distinctly looking at the clock and it was 11.33 in the morning and I'd done all of it and I was like, awesome, I deserve a break, I'm going to have a coffee, going to sit down, um, do whatever and then I'm going to get up and put my makeup on and, and do what I need to do and make these videos for work, which I have now been talking about for God knows how long. Um but I'm literally in the same situation I was last Sunday, which is they're not done. Um, my story's not finished. There are so much things I haven't finished. Um, and yesterday is when I planned on doing it. So I'd done everything. I was wrecked. I was exhausted, like washing. Like, like this is where I think it gets real hard for people to understand just because I look like I'm fine or sound like I'm fine, you have absolutely no idea how much fucking pain I am in. And I'm telling you now, it's 10.06 in the morning and I'm currently sitting in bed and I'm in pain. I'm in a bucket load of pain and that is what happens. Um, So I had my lunch and I went to make a video yesterday and I remember it was like 11.45 and I went to make a video because I was so proud that it wasn't even lunchtime and I'd done all the stuff I needed to do before the work videos. So I came in and lay on my bed and I had some lunch. No, I came to lay on my bed just to rest and that's when I was like, I'm going to make the video. And I've been talking about vibrations and energy frequencies and stuff since I started this because that is the ultimate thing I believe in, yeah? And I'm very attuned to my frequency and my vibrations. And when I went to make the video yesterday, something in me was like, no, don't do that yet. And I'm now realizing, as I'm saying it, because that's the wonderfulness of talking to your camera, um, it was. I was focusing on what I hadn't done instead of what I had done because I went to make the video. I was so proud. It was only 11.40. I'd finished all of this. I had the whole afternoon to go. Everything would have been done. And I'd planned on spending today, Sunday, just resting, relaxing, smoking weed and sorting out my clothes, which, again, is something I've started to I said I'd start when the board went out. And I don't even know how many weeks I'm at now, but it's at least two two since I spoke to my therapist so yeah um so I didn't make the video as we're we because there's nothing uploaded at lunchtime yesterday excuse me anyway um and then I was like okay I need to have lunch rest and that's when I started like I think really overthinking yeah so at this point, I was like in a lot of pain, and I take extremely strong actual pain meds, yeah, like oxy pain meds. Oxy, it's a well, it's it's called Tarja, and you can look it up if you want to. It's a it's a combination of oxy and well, laxatives, truthfully, because they fuck with you. Um, but it's the same thing, and I think I took like 60, milli- 60 milligrams or whatever it is yesterday. I mean, it wasn't helping. Um, <clears throat> actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I remember lying in bed last night going, if I can get everything I need done today by a certain time, I'll go and get a massage and I'll just take the money out of my savings and replace it on Wednesday when I get paid because I'm so fucking mu- I'm in so much pain. Um, but it's, like I said, it's 10.09 and I'm still in bed, so... Um, and my stories aren't done. My stories aren't even written. And I, I, mm, I gotta always try to remember to finish one story before starting the next. And I need to go and let my dog out. So you're all coming for a walk with me. Don't you just love how I make videos? Just, you know, I just take yours with me. It's all good. Hello, boo. Um, it's 
been raining here in Melbourne, so it's all oh, that's shocking, right? Yeah, it's all wet and it's all muddy and it's all whatever. So I've had the doggy door shut because um, because he goes psycho, and in all fairness, not his fault, my fault, 100% because I haven't walked him. Um, but he, yeah, he does. He does like zoomies around the freaking backyard, and then he, he arrives and he comes inside and he's covered with mud. Covered with mud. Where is he? He's out there doing his thing. This light is shocking. Let's try and fix it. Hey, guys. Um, anyway, get back to what I'm trying to say. Right, yesterday, did my head in. I wanted to make a video. I felt really proud. And then instead of staying with the feeling of I feel really good and really proud, I immediately went into, oh, Jesus, that's not made anything better. And now I could just see how much dust is on my com computer. It's like covered in dust. Anyway, let me pop this down on the kitchen table. We keep talking, hey? Um, so, what am I saying? Instead of making the video, instead of being proud, get the... Oh my God, oh my God, he just won't get out of the garden, guys. I have to figure out a way to teach him. Any of you know how to get the dog to stay out of the garden, please let me know. Oi! Boss! He's going crazy. Oh, crazy. You go crazy, go go crazy. Anything. Just you guys have been here with me before. Wait, come here. It's all good, guys. It's all good. Liv makes her videos the way she needs to. Hey, hey boss, you want to go and wreck everything with your dirty feet? Yeah, come on to do the back feet. Come on, come here. That's it. Back foot, back foot. <clears throat> Probably, honestly, it makes no real difference, but I think it just makes me feel better. Um, so, yeah, what am I saying? Yesterday, did not focus on what I needed to focus on. And that somehow led to this, like, what did it lead to? It led, come here, buddy. It led to this, um, yeah, weird afternoon of overthinking. And then I was like, okay, I'm exhausted. I was talking to Rachel. I was like, I'm going to have a nap. And then I was like, well, that's not a good idea because of how much Ritalin I've taken. And I really need to sleep early, blah, blah, blah. Um, hence, I made like a two-minute video yesterday. Um, and yeah, so none of it got done. I'm not totally sure why I'm putting it off. I, I must admit, I've been talking to one of the other people in my team and he's a bit like, this isn't what it was meant to be like, um, the job per se, in the sense of, like, it's it's really obvious my boss is, is super excited and his dream's coming true and everything's happening the way he needs it and wants it to be. And, and I can put myself in the boss's situation and be like, wow, yeah, this is awesome. But I think sometimes he may forget he actually can't do this without us. And this is considered a paid position, but it's never been made clear to anyone. And I, I, I guess it was just meant to be assumed, though you should really never assume anything, right? But um, like I keep saying, Oi! The actual paid part of it is the time you're on stage yeah not the hours and hours and hours of work that go into it and that's fine for someone like me because this is my dream and I'm happy and everything's amazing and you know I think I've said before I, I must trust my boss because I'm listening to him when he says all the work you guys are doing is being recognized like as it stands you know like he literally cannot pay us because there's no money coming in in that sense, yeah? So the money coming in at the moment is obviously then being spent on merch and like the t-shirts and the flights and the whatever it is that is needed, um, which is all well and good, except that 
me and the other person talking are like, he's like, he, he's already spoken to the boss and he's just like, what is happening? Like there's too many people in this team. It was perfect to begin with. You just keep adding people. And now it's almost like, our, like the team members are vying against each other. And it's not a nice feeling, you know, like we all applied for the jobs that we did for a reason. Yeah. Not for us to be in a team together competing with each other, right? So my boss has, like, my boss has secured and confirmed three workshops in WA in July. The last two weekends of July, I think it is in August. Now, all of us want to do it, and not all of us can. And they're one week apart. And I was saying to my team member just before, I was like, technically, they're all one week apart. So we can all have a go if that's how he did it. Otherwise, you know, he might just pick one team who goes every time. Obviously, none of us have a clue, yeah? Um, and my team member was like, if it's fly in, fly out to WA, he's like, I'm not even going to volunteer. He goes, it's eight hours of flying. And then however much time in between getting from the airport to the venue, blah, blah, blah. I imagine since the workshops are at 10 a.m. on the days in WA, it might be flying on like the latest flight that night and then, I don't know, I can't answer or guess or any of this stuff because I just don't know. But I'm seeing my boss tomorrow because any of you who've been following me for at least the last week will know that I messed up my dates. I thought our next workshop for Queensland was last Monday. It's actually tomorrow. Um, so I'm legitimately in the same situation as a week ago because I still haven't done what I needed to do then. I don't know why. I really don't know why. And again, I think it maybe is this sort of feeling of like, it's not quite like I'm super excited and I am and I'm very grateful and I'm very happy and all of the wonderfulness but it's like, I need to speak to my boss and, and confirm, like, you know, you're not going to keep adding people to this team and, and, and you know, making us feel like we're in competition against each other because that's not a nice feeling for anybody, yeah? And um, I know my teammate has spoken to the boss. He said, this, he said the same thing, and, and the answer was... Um, you know, it'll be who's available, who's got lived experience to cover them, who can do this, that, and travel. And it's like, there are seven of us in the team. We all cover a range of different lived experience. Me, myself, and I, all by myself, have so much life experience in so many things, as do the others. <clears throat> but yeah, Psychologically, I think, I don't know, something within me has been making me stop doing these videos. I think, again, it's because I don't like scripted crap. There's a pretty good chance I'm thinking with this, say, workshop in Queensland. Like, I will, before I get to bed tonight, the goal is, once I've done this, I've heated up my solarium already this morning, right? So I did it yesterday to heat up my solarium. The plan was to heat up my solarium. Um, because the, the heat from the bed helps when I'm in this much pain. And every time I use my solarium, it's just like, oh, why did I use you fucking more? I mean, I technically, well, I bought it for the tan as well as it helps the pain. I was always one of those people that went to this, you know, tanning places. Um, but yeah, I haven't fucking tanned in a very long time. I'm white as anything. Um, but I went to do it yesterday, heated up the bed, blah, 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 got into my head, didn't have them. I've heated up the bed today, this morning. I uh, even brushed my hair before making this video, if you guys can't tell, but I think I thought I'd, I'd make the extra 30 seconds and brush my hair. I'm still in my pajamas because I was in my bed before. Um, but yeah, the plan of attack is to get in the bed and listen to a meditation while I'm in there, so hopefully the heat um, relaxes my body somewhat. Then I have a shower and wash my hair again, because even though I think it's looking okay, it's still three days since I've washed it, and these videos are going to be out 
for people to see, you know, like they're getting sent to all these different workshops, they'll be going on the social media for the company, blah, blah, blah. It needs to look good. And I think even saying that, I think that's why I keep psyching myself out because I'm just not someone who wears makeup. And having to put makeup on for what feels like, ugh, I don't know. I just, I think there's lots of things coming into it. But yeah, my plan of attack today is tan once I've finished this, shower, wash my hair, get dressed into what I like need to for the, the top. And it's white top. So I obviously need to put that straight on and then do my makeup because I don't know how other people do it. But I. <laughs> There are so many things that I just, anyway, but like putting my makeup on and then trying to put a white top on, we'll just end up with makeup on the white top. I'm sure other people have seen them in closed doors before where you can see the makeup marks. Um, so then I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to start making these videos. The thing is, though, I don't know why I'm, I, mm, I was going to say, I don't know why I keep psyching myself out, but I do. It's because these videos, I just talk, and I'm happy, and I talk, and I'm good, and I'm, I feel fine. When it comes to talking about certain particular stuff, I get stuck in my head, guys. I do. I overthink shit. <laughs> like, you know, I actually wrote most of the script for um, their social and performance anxiety video and to be honest I've used an example that I've talked about from the safe like I don't need to go back into my life to figure out something that's made me anxious however many days ago I did the safe storytelling training and I was the only person in the entire <coughs> thing <coughs> online workshop that got cut off I did I got cut off I still have no idea how long I talked for because they didn't record it and I'd very much like to know um but yeah like I feel like I'm really lucky that I'm at the point I'm at with shit like that because old Liv and we're not talking even that long in the past ago Liv well that's some good English um would have almost been in tears by that humiliation of every other person was able to talk and I got cut off so I really feel like that's actually a pretty good example I am going to use other examples as well because, again, I've realised it doesn't really matter how long or what order or what exactly it is I say, and I will try to make it right and I will follow the, you know, the, the script that they've given me, so to speak, because it's like these things we need to to follow through with. Like, that's old. That's not what I meant. Follow. Ugh. At least when I make these videos for you guys, it doesn't really faze me when the words come out wrong. Um, let's have a look. What does it say? So we basically have to, you know, just introduce ourselves, introduce what we do, introduce the company, um, share experience of blah, 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 you know, how, oh, and I guess I think this is, again, I, I have to realise, um, I keep forgetting the most important part and I think I'm forgetting it on these videos too, which is not helpful, yeah? Mm -hmm. That didn't help at all, did it, guys? Anyway, I'm at 23, 24 minutes almost, so I'm going to round this up. But um, I think, I don't know why I say stuff like that, because I'm going to talk until I need to finish talking, truthfully. Um, but I do want my coffee to be here, though. But what am I saying? Yeah, so there's obviously like, the most important part is how we cope. So there is a, a number of things I've taken away from the training and what I'm learning that I'm hopefully going to even try to be putting into these videos because, I mean, these videos are my online diary, let's face it. Um... I share and do it the way I do for the reasons I've explained and the overall reason is it's what works for me and it's what helps me and um, yeah 
Now that I fully realise ultimately above and beyond everything else, ooh, don't do that. The most important thing to me in my life is to just enjoy each day to the best of my ability. Life is getting easier. I will say that. Not yesterday, but the day before. It like really hit me, like smack in the face, in the heart and the soul. That when I'm not putting all this undue stress and pressure on myself, which again I do to myself because nobody told me I had to go to uni. No one told me I had to do this. No one told me any of it. Um, and I remember watching a video recently that I've made where I was like, if I don't achieve blah, 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 then why did I get off ice? And now I'm just like, well, that makes zero sense. Like zero. My life is a thousand billion times better now than it was then. I'm an actual real person with emotions and feelings and thoughts and beliefs and I'm genuinely happy when I'm not causing myself under stress. Um, <clears throat> back when I smoked ice, on the other hand, not the same. I literally considered myself an insect. Actually worse than an insect, I think, is how I used to think of it. Um, so, yeah, that whatever I said back then, I take it back. Obviously, every single thing I've done in my life from like moving forward past that has been to help me and it, I think it, it helps it does help me and I know I can help others um but yeah I do need to focus on what it is I do to help me and I guess in some ways with this I mean I'm telling all of you all the time and I say to the people I work with like turn on the camera and talk to yourself if I don't have to show people but I think it's evident that I learn stuff about me all the time, yeah? But yesterday, yeah, it was one of those, I don't know, like I said, I started focusing on what I hadn't done, which was I hadn't finished the script and I hadn't finished my story and I hadn't this and I hadn't that and I just went, and then I was just like, oh, this is all too hard, so I'm just going to get stoned. And that's what I did. And like I said last night in the very short video, while I was watching my stuff back in the morning, these random things of like evil children and, you know, horrendous crimes and stuff and that had um, been coming up and I kind of got a little like hooked in it because, I mean, Jesus, I think I said I'd gotten to bed at like 6.50 or something last night, but I still awake watching these things on YouTube until like half past 10. Um, <clears throat> which I learned something new again. When it comes to the weekend, I absolutely should not be setting alarms, right? Yesterday, I got up at 7.45 naturally, and it was nice. When I went to bed last night, I told myself, don't set the alarm, because I, I obviously knew what was going to happen, but, you know, I said it anyway. I said it for seven. I thought that was a reasonable time. But I guess my human brain was like, mm -mm, it's Sunday. Why'd you do this? You just, it's like I counteracted myself. If I'd not set the alarm and I'd woken up naturally like I did yesterday, it probably would have been better. Whereas today I set the alarm and I snooze, snooze, snoozed until it disappeared. And in my half sleep, I was like, okay, I'd better reset another one. And I did that and I didn't actually get up out of bed to make a coffee until like nine o'clock and that's fine I mean it's Sunday it's 10 28 now um but yeah um alarms are good for the week the weekend I need to just do what needs to be done I know tomorrow I have all the stuff on and it like, technically, they've said the videos need to be in by the 13th. So yeah, tomorrow is the 6th. Today is the 5th of June, 2022. Um, but I just want them done, yeah? Especially because it's, like, it's really confusing. And I know I've explained this before, but, like, there's technically two of us as storytellers and the rest of them are facilitators. And these workshops are meant to be a facilitator and a storyteller. And since there's, like, two storytellers and the rest of facilitators, to me, me and the other storyteller would be going to the majority of them. And if that's not what happens, then that's when it's going to be like, okay, this isn't matching our description for what we applied for. And, like, again, I'm going to say it, like, the storyteller and the facilitators get paid differently 
they get paid twice as much as us for effectively the same amount of work. It does appear right now. So anyway, again, it's not about the money. It's not about that. It's not about any of it. I think it's just getting in my head because I get stuck when I'm trying to write stuff. Um, again, I am going to finish the actual story for the workshop before tonight. Won't be getting up. Like I'll be getting up early tomorrow because I've got to be there earlier and traffic will be shit, but I'm not going to be trying to do stuff at six o'clock in the morning. I just want it done. And I guess there's that part of me that just feels like, oh my God, it's 10.30, there's so much to do, blah, blah, blah. But it's like I'm just making it so much bigger in my head, guys. Like these videos are legitimately meant to be five to ten minutes tops. Yeah, that's it. And I'm working on, I'm, what do, I'm going to do social and performance anxiety, obviously, uh, addiction. I haven't even thought about what I'm going to say about that. But I was recently trying to find my quote that I've mentioned in videos that I made a long time ago that Miss Turks was like, it's too long. Uh, and I've looked everywhere. I know I've got it because I remember between cleaning out the spare room for the, the turning it into my meditation room, I came across it. And I was like, oh, thank God. I'm so happy. I know where you are. <clears throat> and then I put it somewhere really safe. And I don't know where that really safe place is. <laughs> and it's bugging me because I can't fully remember it. Which means I obviously need to make a new one, which I guess is cool. I'll come across it when I come across it. I do recall it was basically about having faith in our, you know, in humanity. Because, you know, you can have all the faith in the world about the universe and higher powers and gods and this and that and everything else. doesn't really help if you're still treating people like crap. Yeah? Um, but I have started trying to really see everything through the eyes of love every time somebody annoys me or irritates me or does something I've asked them not to I'm choosing to not get cranky and not get irritated and just going okay there's a way to see this and it's not through the eyes of anger and anger is my default, yeah, guys. Anyone that knows me in real life knows that. If you've seen my, enough of my videos, you'd probably know that. Having anger as a default isn't fun. But I'm working my freaking ass off to make sure that that isn't who I am for the rest of my life. <clears throat> but at 32 minutes and 20 seconds, I really need to shut up, go and actually do the things I need to do. I just don't know that I've fully explain what is happening with me right now this might be one of those videos where I just I'm just rambling there's a good chance of that I might watch back and be like gosh I rambled but yeah so I'm gonna go with what's today's takeaway um focus on what I have done not what I haven't which I've now put on the wall um over there focus on what you have done not what you haven't because again I was so fucking proud of myself with how much I got done by 11.33 yesterday and then I just focused on one thing in the wrong way and it just went spiralling out of control. Not in a bad, harmful or anything kind of way, just in a, I'm, oh, that's right. I remember I ended up getting pissed off at myself. That's what happened because I'm trying to be the growing up, right, guys? I'm 36. I'm a growing up. So they say, yeah, I'm not totally sure I fully understand what that meant to change inside of my head and how I feel. Anyway, I was like, I'm growing up. I'm going to get all this done. Everything's going to be great. It's all really good. I'm charging ahead. I'm, um, you know, getting my stuff done on my to-do list, blah, 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 blah. Everything was great. And then when I sat down and then I baked and then I did something and then I fucked around for like an hour and a half and by this point I was just like no chance I can't make videos now like I can't exactly be making videos while I'm stoned that just doesn't work and it wasn't even like I was stoned it was like you know that feeling when you've smoked so much fucking weed and nothing's happening but I think it was just adding to my pissed offness which is interesting because I'd actually forgotten about that but yeah, it was like an adult being pissed off at a child because the child was meant to say clean their bedroom and then they didn't and then the parent got mad. But it was all about myself. I was meant to make my videos and I didn't, so I got mad at myself. Interesting. But my takeaway is 
We're going to focus on what we have done. I'm up. I've made my video. I've warmed up my solarium. My house is lovely and warm. The main parts of my house are clean. My living room door is shut to keep it clean um, because I have no idea how to make a video because I'm obviously going to be making a video on the same app I make these ones with to um, have like a blurry background behind me. Like I, do, I don't know how to do that um, on just the camera app. Oh my god, my fucking hair people are just irritating. Anyway, um, so I am obviously going to have to make it somewhere where the background is nice and I figure if I'm actually at my desk in there, then there's the butterflies behind me on the wall and that's fine. I think I even said that to the boss and he was like, yeah, that's fine. I mean, technically the wall behind the couch is just blank and white, but it's not set up. So I don't know if that'll work, but I'll figure that out after. But um, yeah, it is only 10.35. It's Sunday. I need to get out of my head. I, oh, that's right. When I'm talking about these scripts, yeah. So like, I, I haven't put it in the Word doc. I haven't done this, haven't done that. I haven't done lots of things, but we're not going to focus on that because I will get it all done by today. This much I knew. Um, and what was I going to say? It's not like I'll be reading a script on the day at the workshop, right? So I, I, I do obviously want to get it to a point where I'm happy, everything's great, we can practice, blah, blah, blah. But there's a pretty good fucking chance that in the moment it's going to be different. Not much different, obviously, but it might be, you know, slightly and just go with it. I mean, not one of us going to Queensland have ever, ever hosted a workshop before. So this is all new for all of us. Um, so yeah, but the fact that I do want to get in my solarium and have a shower and wash my hair means I really do need to get on with it because I can already go, oh, I just can't be bothered, but my hair doesn't look bad, but it looks better wash freshly. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna shut up. I'm gonna stop fiddling. I'm gonna do whatever. I'm gonna upload this, guys, and then I may check in later and see where I'm at. Happy Sunday.